Now, this is mostly a wrestling channel. Someone had a question on here regarding the Bradshaw and Morrow situation where you, I guess, stuck up for Morrow when he was being bullied uh, by one of the WWE announcers, JBL. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a... It's just dumb people who, who don't realize over the years that they become a the douchebag, you know. And uh, for, for them doing certain things uh, to people, it's all normal. But they don't think about how certain people are, like Maro's bipolar, you know. He takes an insult way different than any other person takes. For him, it's like an intensifier by 30, you know, and it really crushes him. It can crush him. Sometimes he doesn't care, care at all. But you don't know because that's his disease. Sometimes he shoots up and down. And I've seen him in situations. I have, have to talk to him like you're completely crazy. You know, and for a guy who knows that Maro is bipolar and then start talking like that, yeah, you're just a douchebag. You have no clue. Those are the people who would say to uh, somebody if somebody is, uh, has anxiety. They say, well, why don't you just stop having anxiety? Or, or uh, they're depressed. But just be happy. I go, yeah, yeah, I think it was that easy. You know, you didn't need all these doctors, right? I mean, it's a disease. It's something that they cannot do anything about. You don't believe that they don't want to be uh, afraid or having anxiety? Of course they don't want to. It's not as simple as saying. I was, um, I was depressed for about three months. And you have to understand, I'm never depressed. With me, everything is always full on. And it was after my fight, my last fight in 2006, a couple of months after that, Suddenly, I don't know why, where it came from, but I was considering suicide. I was, I was, I was like, I was literally with my car, and then I saw a, a, a crossover, and I thought, you know, what if I just pile drive my car into it? You know, it's all going to be over. And I, I was shaking away. I go, dude, what are you thinking? What's going on? And I had these sweaty palms. It was so weird. And then thankfully, I started putting in my mind a list together with all the good things that I have in life and all the bad things. And then you're going to find out that all the good things outweigh by so much, all the bad things, and that got me out of it, you know, and suddenly everything was back to normal. But I, I tell you one thing, at that moment, I had no control. So every time when I see a commercial with people, you know, and they're talking about depression, do I feel, because I, I, I felt for three months, I felt what they have every single day. It's a very hard thing. And it's not like you can say, oh, let's, let's be happy. It doesn't work like that. These are just people, dumb people who don't look into anything unless it happens to a family member or something like that. It's like, for instance, what's his name? Kanye West, right? And, oh, and he comes up and he grabs the microphone out of her hand and, you know, and everybody goes, oh, he's a piece of crap, piece of crap, including me. But then you find out he's also bipolar. You know, he can't control his emotions. You know, actually, so at the, right away he got a pass from me because that's – what happens, you know, you have to sit, sit, figure figure things out. If some people do really weird things, you know, there might be a reason behind it. And if you don't know, maybe you should Google about it or find out before you're going to start making comments, which is what we see right now in this day and age. Everybody's making comments and nobody's checking anything. Did he ever apologize after you stepped in tomorrow or anything like that? No, I think that he apologized like a half, what, not to me, but to tomorrow, I think. You know that uh, yeah, it, it was wrong, but it was. It never comes from the heart, you know. You can like uh, when I saw Conor McGregor when he hit that older guy, and then I saw him in an interview afterwards. That was an interview that I said, okay, he's he feels really bad about what he did. You could tell, you know. But with that guy, I I, I couldn't really tell. But they say it, you know, it doesn't match the facial expression. So thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.